My name ain't Brandy, and you show ain't Monica. And guess what? The boy actually is mine. You've been with your high school sweetheart since you were 14 years old. I mean, you all were each other's first everything. And now he's worked his butt off and he is a successful attorney and you have given him a beautiful baby girl. So everything should be perfect, right? Wrong. He refuses to make you his wife. Not only does he refuse to make you his wife, but things aren't going the way you think they should. So when this fine man slides in at your table at lunch and is telling you everything that he's going to give to you, of course you go for it. He says not only will he take care of you, he'll take care of your baby girl too. So what do you do? You hightail it up out of it. The only problem is, your new man, it was just smoking mirrors. And what do you do? You try to spin the block as fast as you can because you got to get your man back. The only problem is, your man, or rather your ex-man, he is sick of your foolishness and ain't going to go. So what do you do? You try to make it look like you are kidnapped. But it's too late. He ain't going. So imagine your shock and your surprise when you find out that the nanny used to work at your child's daycare. The daycare that, by the way, your man didn't know that your baby was in. But you've already made up in your mind. If you can't have them, nobody else can. If you want to see how this love triangle plays out between Bashir, Nixie, and Alicia, the nanny, go ahead and run over and read Kiss It Better, which is a part of the Crenshaw King series.